huge difference in size. This is the authentic, this is the fake. I'm almost inclined to ask, what is that? But anyway, we're gonna start off the video with the scale weighing. The authentic weighs 537 grams. And the fake one weighs 559 grams. As usual, the counterfeits come wrapped with a bad cellophane that has this whitish dust underneath it. The side. The back. The other side. Look how good the folding of the cellophane of the authentic falls right here. Really subtle. Look how ugly it is on the fake. This is the bottom. Once again, perfect folding right here on the authentic, but really ugly and messy on the fake. Let's take them out. I hope I won't get hepatitis. At the top on the authentic, you have the Lalik writing, but the fake doesn't have it. This is the front. They both have the same texture, the side. The back, the other side, let's take a look at the bottom. The authentic has the batch code right here. I cannot see any batch on the fake. The fake one copies the info from the vintage that had the 78% volume. The current one has 79%. The side of the cardboard, you can actually see inside it and it's white. But on the authentic, the margin is the same color. They didn't bother to take out this cutout right here. I'm gonna take it out for them. This is how the bottles sit inside. The authentic is perfectly smooth. The fake has something like the texture of the moon on it with some small craters. I think if you look at the fake from this position with the light shining on it, you can actually turn into a werewolf. You can find out if you are a werewolf or not. If you start transforming, get off the video. The side, the back, the other side, let's take a look at the bottom. The authentic has the same badge that was written on the box. Both caps have the Lalique writing on top of them. This is how they look like inside. These are the atomizers. This is the top. They have a different shape right here on the neck. The nozzle of the sprayer on the authentic perfectly falls into line with this vertical right here. On the fake is actually pushed inside. This is the inside of the atomizers. On the fake you can actually see the hole inside of it, but the authentic has a different mechanism. It's split in three. Now the smell comparison. This is the authentic. Ancre Noir is a dark rooty fragrance. It's for gentlemen. This is definitely a classy fragrance. I really love the vetiver inside this one. And now for the fake. Does have something of the authentic, but it's nowhere near the quality. First of all, this is full of alcohol. A crappy cheap alcohol smell, like cheap. You can find the authentic in this one if you're actually looking for it. It's like 20% the authentic. It has some weird fruits. I don't get it. A cheap alcoholic fruity version of the authentic. This is garbage. Thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.